you may have heard of Rev11 licensing. And if you're up to date on Rev11, you're probably also familiar with LMU, the Synergy DE License Manager Utility. In this Quick Tips video, we're going to look at the Synergy Configuration Program, also known as SynConfig, a Windows-based utility shipped with Synergy DE that enables you to perform most LMU functions and keep tabs on the status of your Rev11 licenses. Although we're focusing on the contents of the licensing tab, SynConfig also contains functionality relating to Synergy connectivity products, XF Server and XF Server Plus. To start, there are two ways to get to SynConfig. If you're partial to the command prompt, open a new command prompt window in administrator mode. Run the dblvars batch file, either 32 or 64-bit, from the directory where you have it saved, then run synconfig. Your other option is to open synconfig from the Synergy control panel. Whether you're using the command prompt or clicking through windows, make sure that the bit size of synconfig matches the bit size of your Synergy environment. The Licensing tab of Synconfig displays the same information you could gather about your licenses by running LMU without any arguments. License information displays the server name, licensee name, and port number, as well as your registration string. To view your licensed products, click View Licensed Products, and a new window will appear that closely resembles its command line counterpart. The View License Agreement button is equally straightforward and opens the Synergy DE Product License Agreement PDF in your default web browser. And just like our command line utilities, Synconfig offers a window into the Rev11 polling process, as well as the ability to manually synchronize your license data with the Synergy License Web Service. Install codes are sent when you order products for a new system, or if a hardware change or reinstallation requires an update to the licensee name or registration string. You can obtain an install code from customer service, or if you have license admin access and an account, you can generate install codes from within the Licenses section of the Resource Center. You can also use the Synconfig interface to apply a new install code. If your license server, also known as Cindy, uses a proxy server to connect to the internet, you can configure that proxy by clicking Advanced and selecting either Use System Proxy Settings or Manually Configure Proxy under License Synchronization. From the Advanced License Manager window, you can also change a license server to a license client and vice versa. To change a license server to a client, Select Client and type the DNS name or IP address of the license server in the corresponding text fields. If the server is not running on the default port, 2380, make sure to specify the port number by adding a colon and typing the number after the server name or IP address. For more information on changing a license client to a license server, check out the configuration guide in the documentation. Depending on how you would like end users to respond in the event of a licensing issue, you can add custom contact information to the copyright statement included in license-related messages by specifying the text in the Contact Info section of the Advanced License Manager window. As you can see, Synconfig is a handy tool for license maintenance and troubleshooting. This walkthrough covered the basics, but to get a better handle on your unique licensing situation, you may want to run the program yourself and do some exploring. Developer support is always available if you have any questions or concerns, and you have several on-demand resources at your disposal if you'd like to learn more about Synergy DE licensing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Quick Tips video.